Okay, so then our next uh, exercise uh, for nerve gliding is the ulnar nerve. And this is a sheet of paper that we usually give out. So the, the more gentler ones for the ulnar nerve are, um, you're gonna put your hand in front of you and then you're gonna do little circles. And then as you get a little better, you can come on top of your head and then you can slowly turn your hand. Eventually you're going to be having your palm facing up. And then the, the last part is trying to get your hand under your chin. So that's a really strong stretch. So you want to start from the front, little circles in front, little circles on the top, slowly turn your hand, slowly turn your hand up, and then eventually be able to touch your chin, or you can reach out and touch your chin, but that's like the last thing you want to do. So start from the front, go to the top of your head, and then work to your chin. And then you can also pretend like you're holding a tray in your hand, and you're gonna do little circles. So you can start down, up, around, and up. So it's kind of like a circle motion. Pretend like you're doing this funky little gliding as though you have a plate in your hand, okay? So that's gliding your nerve over your head with your hand in different positions. And then um, a really strong one, which I don't recommend if you're having a lot of problems, but um, just putting your hands on your waist is a very strong stretch to that area. So the lower you are, the less you're gonna feel it because you're straightening your elbows out. The higher it is, and then you're gonna feel more. So you have to be careful on that. And then the last one that's really strong is actually putting your hands under your chin and pretending like you're wearing little glasses. So that's a very strong one. And I don't recommend that one if you're having a lot of problems, but if you're getting better and you can tolerate little turns, then you can start doing that. So that's all the nerve.